In this tutorial, we look at how to use Excel to download and edit a supplier price list from Sage 200 using Codis Accelerator. Here is a supplier price list that we're going to edit. We're going to change the supplier list price and also add a list price expiry date which is currently blank. Let's go to Excel to show you how we can do this using Codis Accelerator. Here is our supplier price list template that we will use to download and edit the information. To begin, we log in. Your Windows credentials will be used automatically if you have Sage 200 version 2013 or later. There are three different ways we can obtain the data from Sage. We can download, rapid select or browse the data. We will now add the supplier by browsing for the data. And then use intelligent search to narrow down the results and find our supplier. The record has now downloaded into Excel. We change the list price to £40 and we add an expiry date to the 31st of December 2016. We can either enter this in manually or right click the cell and browse a calendar. Once we are done, we can click validate to ensure that the data adheres to Sage 200 rules. Then we click save to Sage to upload this data directly to Sage. This confirms that the data has been saved to Sage. Now let's go back into Sage to check the record. As you can see, the list price has now updated to £40 and the expiry date is also there. Now, let's make our own template using the spreadsheet designer. To begin, we select the Designer button. In the Designer, all standard Sage fields are available. First, we'll enter the number of rows we require. Then, we'll select the fields we want to add. We'll add Account Reference, Supplier Name, Stock Item Code, Supplier Stock Code, Supplier List Price, List Price Expiry Date, and finally, usual order quantity. Once we are done, we can close the designer. With the designer, we're not just limited to working on one supplier. So let's download two different suppliers into our template. For the first supplier, direct tile importers, we're going to increase the list price for all their stock items to £30. We can use Excel's copy down functionality to do this quickly. For the second supplier, Donaldson's Extrusions, we're going to add an expiry date to all the stock items. Since the expiry date is the same as the first supplier, we'll simply copy down again. Once we are done, we click Validate, and then Save to Sage. If we go back into Sage, we can see that both records have been updated. For the first supplier, here are the new prices which we had just updated in Excel. And for the second supplier, here are the expiry dates. Thank you for watching. For more tutorials, please subscribe to our channel. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. If you're interested in getting a free demo of Accelerator, please contact us, sales at codis.co.uk. For more information, visit our website, codis.co.uk.